To unlock the doors using the available smart key, you have to have it with you. In your pocket, your bag, or your purse. It doesn't have to be in your hand. Now the car will sense a key as you get close to the door. You can tell when that happens, especially at night, because the courtesy lights inside will come on. And to unlock the door, slip your fingers behind one of the front door handles and touch the inside surface. The door will automatically unlock and you'll hear two beeps. And to lock the doors, make sure they're all closed. Then touch the two grooves on the top of the front door handle. You should hear a single beep. Now, by the way, if they don't lock and you hear a steady warning tone, one of the other doors is probably still ajar or you left the smart key in the car. To open the trunk with the smart key, have the key with you and reach up under the trunk lid just above the license plate. You'll feel a rubber rectangular button. Push it and the trunk will open. By the way, the doors will stay locked. The smart key also includes traditional remote lock, unlock, trunk open, and emergency signal buttons. Now, if interference or a dead battery prevents the smart key from working, there's a mechanical key hidden in the fob itself. Now, you should know that strong radio signals, low batteries, or even leaving the car parked and locked for two weeks or more can all affect the smart key system. Check the owner's manual for details.